Hey guys, Sumpo here, and today we are basically just as usual recording another shadow video, and this time we're ranking every shadow there is, or at least every render shadow, I should say. Now I don't remember most of these. I mean, I got I kind of do know most of these actually, but it's kind of hard to tell since it's kind of small. And. I think I got it. Okay. So first off, we have... I'm guessing this is the original shadow. And to be honest, let's just put it up here. The original shadow is, of course, the ultimate life form. It's, it's, it's something you can't beat. It is the original. I think you got the hero's version as well. The hero's version is... Honestly, the hero version is an updated version. I, For me personally, it's something about the polys. The, like the cl classic polys from SA2 looks a bit better than the one from Heroes, but not gonna lie, it's still a pretty good design. Okay, Shadow from Sonic Battle, if you don't remember that game. Honestly, his sprite work specifically is actually pretty good, and the art for it is actually really good as well. Like for the ultimate light form, this is gonna be pretty easy. Now we have the two other forms. These are. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, these two are fan-made renders, but hey, we'll just go to rank as it is. There's, of course, the one for Shadow the Hedgehog, the actual video game, and I'm gonna say this, that I like the red of Shadow, that's the ultimate life form. As for the blue, I mean, like, I like this function. It has a better rendering than the one for Heroes, it's just that... I don't really like the blue surrounding him. It looks a little out of place. Oh, shadow with a gun. With shadow on shadow. That is... I really like this render. I would actually maybe put it up near here. Just only because like it's like really... It's really well rendered for a game in like I think like the early 2000s. Like damn. Also, I mean, he has a gun. And maybe the gun might knock him off some points for some people, but like, I think it's still pretty good. Okay, it does seem like for some reason OBS is a bit finicky on um, ov data overload, I guess. And this is Tier Maker. I think recently Tier Maker has like a lot of things playing in the background, and it's just kind of bad for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why it's like that. But hopefully it doesn't ruin this video, of course. Enough for a break. Let's just go to the shadow androids or the multiplayer shadows. These shadows are actually pretty good in design. They're about the same renders as the other ones. Like the like I mean the other ones as to say like they're the same rendering. They have the same render quality as the one from Shadow the Hedgehog. But um they just less detailed because I think they're supposed to be shadow androids as well. I think B is safe. Nothing beats the red on black, honestly. But honestly, these altered colors are actually pretty good. What shadow is this one? I don't... Oh, 06. I, I recognize the pose. This is 06 era shadow. 06 era shadow. Despite what everybody says about the 06 designs, I think... I, pretty much like them and for Shadow specifically, his cutscenes are really good. I think the stuff like what well, you can see him in game specifically is a bit weird. It looks better than Sonic I'll say at least, but maybe just put him here. I think a a little below like Hero Shadow is like fine, honestly. I don't remember this shadow. It doesn't look like any shadow that I recognize. I just don't remember. Also, I do apologize for any uh background noise, honestly. Okay, should be fine now. And let's continue. Again, I, I don't remember what this one is. If anybody knows what this shadow is, just let me know in the comments down below because I don't remember. But considering the design. Is this Generations? 
I would not be surprised if this is Generation Shadow, but I kind of also doubt it. It might. It, I also kind of doubt that it might be Generation Shadow. I just don't know. Um, it's a really good render, and it is basically what the modern renders of Shadow would be from here on out, which are still pretty good. I, I would say like the ultimate life form. I would say just maybe below. No, below the sprite one. Yeah, the blue below. The, okay, now there's the background noise. God damn it. Okay, I'm hoping there's not gonna be another one. Okay, so, um, Rider Shadow. Okay, Rider Shadow, I have played him before and seen his actual render in like Roblox, and that's a pretty good render. But I did actually see the actual footage of Rider Shadow in like Sonic Riders. He looks decently well. I do like the goggles. I just don't like his shoes, unfortunately. I do like, I just don't know. I just don't like how his shoes look. I think just above the shadow multiplayer ones. I think at least. Ah, uh, this one. Technically advanced shadow, if you want to say, but this is shadow from Sonic X. I can. Is it actually from Sonic X? Technically speaking, there's actually two that looks like they're from Sonic X for some odd reason. Um, okay. Yeah, because there's another one right here that looks the looks exactly the same, just flipped around with another render. But I don't know. I will say I'll say this is Sonic X Shadow for now. You guys can remind me if I'm wrong. To be honest, these renders are pretty hard to tell because they're pretty small. But other than that, um, Sonic X Shadow. I'm gonna put this as X Shadow for now. And for me personally, it is my favorite shadow design just because it's 2D for its design. And it just looks so cool. Kind of a little redundant also there, but like, yeah, I, I mean, he's cool. I just like his, I, just, I think the 2D design of the, an, 2D anime design is actually pretty good on him. The Olympic shadow. Hmm. I mean, he, he does rock the look, honestly. But, yeah, to be honest, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's kind of harmless. It, it only appears one time, so I can't give it too much credit, honestly. But that's about it. Ah, this one. I, for, I forgot which shadow, which night shadow is supposed to be for this one. Yeah, I forgot which Night Shadow is supposed to be for this one. Is it Percival? No, it's not Percival, right? No, Percival is Blaze, and, Ga and Gawain is Knuckles. No. Gawain is Knuckles. I, I believe he is. Is Shadow Mordred? Mordred? Maybe? Hard to tell. I don't remember. I mean, he does look good as a knight, honestly, but... It does cover up some of his some of his features that would make him shadow. You can still recognize him uh, in Sonic. Um, Sonic Forces Speed Battle or Sonic Battle at this point, I guess. I I don't know the mobile game's name anymore. But like they look, the, he looks good in that render. So pretty much it's possible. Man, there's a lot of background noise coming out already. God damn it. Either way, um, not a really big fan, I guess. Uh, might be a hot take. I'll just put it over here. It's not like I don't like it. It's just, it's kind of a bit busy. And that's saying because of the Olympic shadow. Is this shadow from the... That's not Smash... That's not, that's not the Smash trophy. So I don't know what shadow this is. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Like, where do you get this shadow from? It's a statue. I mean, it's original shadow. Yeah, let's put it at C. It's kind of harmless. I don't really, I'm not really, don't know what what the context of this is, but like, oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Now we have this one. I think this is. This is either Forces Shadow or Generation Shadow. I would 
say forces and to be honest like the design of shadow and forces or generations i guess if you want to i don't know depends i i think i said this is generations this is forces i i think god now most of these shadows just blend in together but that's how good shadows original design is honestly um i do like the forces style honestly um maybe just above this i i think the sprites are better. I have a little bias on all of these. I mean, like, if, if these weren't really here, I mean, this shadow would be, like, maybe on the top, honestly. Uh, Boom Shadow. Design-wise, he is a different character entirely, so I would have based off of him. Is that even... I think that is Boom Shadow. Yep. Yeah, that is Boom Shadow. Okay, I was right. Boom Shadow Um, in the show. I really like Shadow in the show. He is maybe a bit, a bit. He's a bit more satirized to be more edgy, but I mean that's how good he is, and he is more nonsense. It's basically how we know Shadow, at least in the fandom. I, I think it's really funny in Sonic Boom specifically. He's really cool and basically is not like the other characters. Makes him basically the straight man, if you want to call it that. Honestly, I do like his design. He is a bit lanky, but like. I think it's, I, 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 to be honest, I, I just like this one. I, I just like this design. He they still has his character being intimidating, of all things, even though he is a little over edgy. His design-wise, maybe a, a bit too lanky, but that's boom design anyway, so like I can't fault it for that. So I think A, at the very least. I like it how this render is like technically like about the same I think from like Shadow or from I think this is like the same render you can see from Shadow the Hedgehog but it's the the racing game Sonic Team Racing I assume that car is nice too but if I'm gonna be honest it's exactly the same as possibly like the other renderings the car is technically a bonus I think if it can load in okay i would just put it over here no i'll put it below this shadow because it's i think it's the same model it's just the car has a bonus on it and that's about it um it's a little unfair why we have to put this here but okay oh mm. the mr the murder of sonic the hedgehog he rocks a conductor outfit that that that's all i'm gonna say ah the Quote unquote Shadow the Hedgehog. It's funny. I, I like how this looks, but this is not Shadow. We all know that this is not Shadow D tier. It's kind of obvious, don't you think? Archie Shadow. Archie Shadow is his own thing, honestly. It, to, yeah, uh, in all respects, he is his own thing. Design wise, he is about the same, I think. Think like in modern interpretations of Shadow, he is similar to the Sonic X design, which is still pretty good, or at least his modern game designs, which is in 2D, which I do like. His story in RT Sonic is decent enough, at least to me, as much as I can remember. I think if anything, he does berserk. Man, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot already. Um, I think, I mean. It's also iconic. I, I think I'll just put him like over here as well in the Ultimate Life Phone tier. It's kind of obvious. IDW Shadow is about the same. Um, putting him, I do like how it's like close to the Sonic X design, like much more so. But it's like no, I, I think IDW Shadow has a better design in terms of character. He's about like the same as the Forces Shadow, but like it doesn't matter. Because I think that's how I see Shadow for the most part. I think you can say he's regressing in a way in that era. But I think, I mean, he's still pretty cool in the comics too. I cannot really say much. It might be a bit unfair, but like, I can't. I don't know what else to say. Okay, I, I don't know about this Shadow. Somebody tell me what the hell this Shadow is supposed to be. Uh, for now, he's going on D tier because I think it's just a repeat. But hey, at least he's Shadow, unlike this imposter, this faker right here. Okay, Prime Shadow. He is similar to Boom Shadow in design. He is a tiny bit lanky, at least to me. 
He his head is a bit too big though. There's nothing wrong with his character. It's just his design. Hmm, th this is hard actually. And there's so many background noises coming outside. I'm hoping that you guys didn't hear it. I have noise suppression on, so if you guys hear it, it means well. I thought I had time. I thought I have a good time recording, but I guess it's not. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm I'm just a little grumpy. Maybe like shadow. I don't know. Okay. Um. Prime shot. I think B might be good. I think his head is just too big, honestly. If, if if I say that, I think it's like close to C. It's a pretty average design. Lego shadow. I mean, it it, it it's shadow like at the very least. I put it C tier. Yeah, average design. Movie shadow. Okay, now this is of this is not the actual render of movie shadow. I think this is the fan made render, but we will discuss about. Well, I know about Shadow in the sh in the trailer from Sonic for the Sonic Three movie, and I'm really hyped for it as well. Um, his design it looks really good, and for the movie, movie designs for like the the Sonic designs in the movies is like pretty fine for me. I mean, I do like them. Not exactly a big fan of them, but it did start to grow on me. At the second movie and I'm hoping that they would improve the uh, quality of the renders in the actual movie the trailer gave me some hope so like we might see like better fur physics and stuff like that or like a better polish for shadow specifically at least in that trailer he looks fine it's just like Sonic 2 quality rendering which is for CG I, I guess I'm not a big um, C I'm not I'm not that in the know in like animation and stuff so like I, I don't have any right to say but at least for me personally I think it's an alright design if anything maybe just below A at the very least that, that is it for me in terms of like him in the actual movie I don't know we have to wait until like the end of this year damn okay and now we have the final one, Super Shadow. And I, I think we all know where this is going. Now, I'm going to go use the... Now, this is the actual one. <laughs> this is the render from Sonic Speed, the like Sonic Forces Speed Battle. Which is fine. Because I, I think Shadow, Super Shadow, hopefully in Sonic Time Shadow Generations, we'll see Super Shadow at some point. But I do like this design. This is like the most modern interpretation of the design. To be honest... I, I really liked I really liked his super form a bit more than Sonic's just because it because the only thing that doesn't change about him is his red streaks for, for some reason which is I I do like that I think it's maybe because of the Black Doom lore or something like that I don't know like I'm a little I'm a bigger fan of like how Super Sonic looks in a way but like Shadow's super design is like the better like. Does that like it like visually the better design? I used to say, and also he's like the more cooler Super Shadow is like the coolest transformation in the game. In the lore of Sonic, it's just because like he has all his relative chaos powers just just multiplied, basically with the super form, and that's about it. Well, that's it for this video. Honestly, that's my ranking of all the shadows in the in media, and it's longer. It took longer than I expected. Honestly, I didn't think it'll take this long, but yeah, okay. Um, that's a actually that's a lot. That's a lot of the ultimate life form tier. The god, god we have like twelve. Why right, that's like twelve up here. Still, I don't know why we included this imposter, this faker in this tier list. But like, hey, that it, it is what it is. Also, I didn't think. That the bottom part will pop up like that. I don't know. Either way, my name is Unpo. I'll see you guys next time for more of the Month of Shadow. But of course, I think the next one will be either another Shadow related one or like something else. Even I don't know my own schedule. Uh, check out the rest. Check out for the rest of the month because there's not just Shadow for Shadow Month, although he would take the majority of it. We'll also have some horror theme stuff and some filler stuff as well just so just look out for that possibly for the month of october i'll catch you on next time sonic x generations like coming out soon this month
Maybe I'll do a re-evaluation on how he looks in that game too, if they put in the rendering for him in this tier list.